Middle schoolers are the best, okay? One minute they're joking around about Among Us or some TikTok dance, and the next they're asking like, how can we solve world hunger? And how can we be more equitable in our social policies? And I just love that dichotomy. Uh, I'm Sharon Surrett. I'm a middle school science teacher here at KIS. Science at KIS is inquiry-based. It's all hands-on learning. Kids are constantly encouraged to ask questions about the world. Why does that happen? What if, oh, I wonder. And we love it when kids go home and talk to their parents. Like I get so many emails from parents or at conferences and they say, Ms. Surrett, my kid just talks about your class and has all these questions. And I go, that's awesome. That's exactly what we want as science teachers, to have kids wonder about the world and to look at their world and question it and, and want to dig deeper into what they're observing. We do a lot of hands-on learning so kids can have that sense of wonder in the classroom and then we can start addressing those questions and digging deeper. Kids are the best scientists. You know, when you're a baby, the first science experiment you do is, can I eat this, right? Is this edible? That's why kids are always shoving stuff in our mouths. And, and I always tell our students, like, somewhere along the line from when you were two or three years old, you stopped asking why. You know, three-year-olds, why, why, why? And like, don't stop. Keep asking why. Keep wanting to delve deeper and seek knowledge. We've done this redesign of this curriculum to make it more modern and make it more relevant to our students' lives. Hello, I'm Jaden, and I'm an eighth grader at KIS. This year, I liked a learning about uh, moral dilemmas and morality, and I like to learn about how people, like the thought, the thought process behind people making their decisions, like simple everyday decisions, but also like larger scale decisions as well. Our theme is called Responding to 2020 because so much has happened throughout this year. So we thought it'd be a good idea for students to actually reflect on how this year has affected them personally and how they would visually present that in a painting. My name is Shayla and I'm in eighth grade. In art class, we're working on responding to 2020, um, and we're all doing different projects, kind of focusing on either the big things or the small things in 2020 that can either be like personal or like involve the whole world. So I chose to do something involving Black Lives Matter, um, and I did like I kind of wanted to show how it can bring people together from all different countries all over the world. It's a little hard to see, but they're all supposed to be little people kind of holding signs in different countries, so like North America, South America, and I didn't get to Asia yet, but I'm working on like covering the whole globe, um, and it's supposed to be in the shape of the continent, so people can see like how, mu how many people are involved with big situations like this. This is supposed to be outer space, but I didn't just want it to be blank, so I'm gonna find like newspaper articles or print them out if I can't find them on Black Lives Matter and um, paste them around the edges. Um, that way it'll like kind of bring it, like bring more attention to it, I guess. I feel like art is like subjective, so if you do topics that people kind of can relate to, people will see it in different ways, but they can always like come back to that and be like, oh, I experienced that, I remember that from 2020. Um, and if you kind of have it as art, it'll be there, maybe not forever, but for a long time, and people can always see that and remember it like visually as apart from like just hearing and seeing words. We know what the kids need to know, we know where they're coming from, and what they're supposed to know, and then we just try to move them along on the continuum of math, no matter where they are. It's like a, a large playing field and kids are like all over, just like a recess playground, and we just try to move them forward from wherever they are. So I really enjoy like hands-on activities or projects where they have to really delve into their creativity and also utilize their math skills. Hi, my name is Jui and I go to KIS and I'm in sixth grade. 
there are a lot of stations like what we're doing right now so we get to rotate and do different activities and instead of just like uh, solving random questions like uh, last class we did this like um, thing where we have to solve like math questions to find a clue to solve like a mystery and instead of just solving normal questions we do fun activities like that.